okay? Don't ever date nobody at Mount St. Vincent without doing your research because I will tell you, people get around. There's one thing I will say, Mount St. Vincent, they remember every time you owe them and they never gonna let you slide. Let me put you on. We get right beside you. Put my finger through your th What's up, you guys? It's your girl BR to the E N to the DJ to the double E and I'm back to tell you the video for you guys. And today, basically, I will be doing like a, like an inside scoop on, on St. Vincent, you know, because I feel like it was quarantine. If you're gonna go visit the school, you can't visit the school. So, you don't know what to expect except for, I guess, the videos you've watched on YouTube about the school. And I bet you 9 times out of 10, they're of me. And, um, yeah, so basically, I feel like the other videos that I've, I've made about the school are basically, like, you know, educational. They kind of tell you about the school and why you should go there and what's good about it, pros and cons. Like, but I, I went, like, very general. Like, very general, very just, this is what it is, this is what it's not. But I feel like now, I feel like this, is, this video should be, like, me putting y'all on to the T. Like, what's really good? Like, how this school really move? And it's just like just explaining everything to you more in depth right now. And yeah, so why not just put y'all onto the tea? You know, give y'all a little inside a scoop slash virtual tour slash what's good. Like what happened? This school it or not? Like and basically at the end of the day, I just wanna put out there that like this what I'm about to tell you is based off how I feel, how I dealt with it. My experience would not be like yours. Like there are some people who said they watch my videos, they came to the school and they hate the school. It's up to you. Like I, I may love the school and you may hate your the school. Like it just it just depends on preference, the experience. Like I had a great freshman year, some people had a horrible freshman year. It just depends on the person. Like so it's just what I'm saying, like whatever I'm saying is based off what I experienced, what I've seen. So this may be a long video. So get your quarantine snacks out, sit back and watch this video with me, okay? Oh, Let me just tell you guys a brief about me. While I'm making this video, I'm currently a sophomore accounting major with a minor in healthcare management. And yeah, so let's just get this started. You can have you can have your car on campus. You just gotta pay like 200 something dollars for the semester, and you good. I suggest you do that instead of bring your car on campus and keep getting tickets. Cause one thing I would say, them securities be on deck. They be checking up. They will check for that tag that says Los Angeles that, that you that you can park here. If they don't say if they don't see a tag that says you can park here, baby girl, baby boy, they will give you a ticket in 2.3 seconds, no problem, no hesitation. They on game, they be on the body, bro. They be fiending, like the definition of a fiend. I see myself. He will stand there and watch you park and be like, cool, and then go give you a ticket because you don't got a sticker. Like he be blowing minds. Like I said. Get a parking permit, or you gotta get your license, get your registration, you just get everything together that you would use for DMV, whatever. Just, um, pay for the thing, and then get, you get a little tag, a little a little thing you put on the mirror, and then you just put it there, you leave it there, and that's just that, and then you're good to go. But if you don't do that, you're gonna get a ticket, 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 and you, you might not wanna pay it now, but trust me, when graduation comes and you forgot you had to pay $200 worth of tickets, you're gonna be taken, they're gonna tell you you're not graduating. Because one thing I would say, my favorite tip, they remember every time you owe them and they never gonna let you slide trust trust they be on game i'm telling you this school bro when it comes to money it's lit for them that's all they know is money so about the ra's ra's bro like it depends like you know like my freshman you know ra's was on body they was i was getting written up every freaking five minutes because they just i was just always guilty so but like you know, ours are cool. You go to them if you want to. You don't have to, but you know they're there. They don't really do. Much. Like they don't really like bother nobody unless you like you know like they don't really bother you unless they feel like they have to, and then they just be blowing minds. But other than that, like regular, like you know, like my my floor cursed out, mad mad RAs, bro. It was whatever. Like it was lit. So I don't care. But yeah, uh, overnight guests and guests. Um. If you're a freshman, I, I forgot, I think if you're a freshman, you can't have guests the first semester, like that's a dub, like, nah, they're not jacking that, like, you can't bring nobody over first semester, you gotta wait till second semester for you to have, to have overnight guests and shit like that, so, got you a little boo, be time to pull up spring semester, guys, four, they gonna, ah, 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 your ass, like, no problem. Just saying, but if you know, if you get by, you get by. But if you stick with it, you stick with it. But I'm just saying, if you go to run with it, if you go to authority with the situation, they're gonna tell you no. Like this, this clip. So just don't do that. But like other than that, overnight guest, I think like 
you know you can have you can have overnight guests whenever you want to whatever you know you want to have if they want to come every single day they can do that nobody cares if your boo come every single day nobody cares but it's just the fact that you gotta understand the timing you know it just depends because like you're not about to come with your boo at 3 a.m and think you're gonna come in because security will have no problem telling you it's a dub and he gotta go home or she gotta all go home they don't have an issue with that they do not have an issue with that because there's a certain time limit for me so you want to get in that time frame and then do your thing okay because they're gonna, not gonna remember but if you're gonna you know if you're gonna come at 3 a.m Hey, goodbye. You don't got you don't got a paper that said they can sleep over. You wasn't sick with it. You just came in and you think you're gonna sign them in? My statement to security, bro. They don't give a damn like about nobody. They will tell you yeah, anyways. Like moving on. <laughs> like they will dub you right on the spot and you did have to go home. So you know, be mindful of an overnight guest. If you're gonna do it, if you're gonna do it, all you gotta do is sign a paper or whatever, fill it out, and then sign the paper and then you're good to go. If you, if you don't want to sign the paper, don't sign the paper. You could be slick with it. But if you're not sick with it, then be smart with it. That's just what it is. Let's talk about security. Security be on dick. When I mean they be fiending, but it's not everybody. It's just people who like. It's just people. That's you know how this every every securities every people every school has security guard that just be fiending. You know they want to do their job and they want to da 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 like they want to do the most. So you know like sometimes you know we get the good bunch and you know they be chilling. They don't care. They let us slide. Da, da, da. And then some of them who really be on some. You know, sergeant military vibes, and they really be OD, like you know, like throw them really take the job seriously. Like, res like understand you're a security guard at school. Pipe down, okay? This ain't no presidential shit. Like, relax, uh, relax. They be OD, like literally. But some of them are cool. They don't care. Like they, bro, whatever. Like let you slide. But some of them, like I said, just be sucking, sucking. So. Up to you, but the, the, at the end of the day, security don't, really do security don't really bother you unless you make yourself known. You ain't got about you know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't do nothing, too, if you don't do too much, you value when you start doing too much, and you start da, 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 you start, that's when you that's when you do they get they get tired when they get tired, it's clip for everything because they're gonna snatch and da, 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 so just bro, just put on the good side, you know, just don't do too much, don't do too less, and you're good to go, literally. Now. For my heads, I want to know if siphoning is valid. I know a lot of y'all want to know, is it, can you do it? Is it possible? It's possible. Anything is possible. That's one. Anything is possible. But, for real, for real, like, yeah, like, my nigga, like, come on. Come on, like, come on. Who don't do that shit? I don't do it. But I'm just saying, like, my niggas do that shit, so you good to go in terms of Finding it, doing it. One thing I was saying is security be on body. So it's just take your chances, take your will. You want to do what you want to do, have fun, do your thing. But just understand that if security catch you, if they catch you and he's the wrong nigga on duty and he tight, trust me, he going to violate you. And if he violate you, Mount St. Vincent going to violate you. When I mean violate you, they going to book. Like, it just depends on who it is, you know. Might be a warning, might be a blah, 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 but then it might just be like, yo, I'm, I'm not in the mood right now, so it's clip. Let's say you're in an attitude and you want your be on your bully, then uh, there you go. But it's possible, it's achievable. You just gotta be smart, like I said, be smart. Be, if you gonna be smart and slick, be smart and slick. Don't be slick and not smart, like you know, like just just be like, you know, just do your thing, but just understand that you know, like you put yourself in danger. But it's possible for all my ciphers out there. You, you good. You come into the right school. That's the case. You good. You All right. Now, parties. Parties. I will repeat this again. And I've said it multiple times. And I'll say it again. Now, I'm saying this is not a party school. If you come to Mount Saint to come to party, yeah, you in the wrong. So you're going to be bored as hell. Because Mount Saint is not a party school. Like, it, there's parties, but not like like what you think. Not like St. John. Not like Albany. Not like Buff. That's not a thing. But, you know, they have the regular Mount, Mount Madness, which is the homecoming. They have a culture invasion, which is like a Caribbean type of party. They have Spring Fest. Spring Fest is not a party, it's more like a concert. And that's just that. Those are three main parties that are gonna happen no matter what. Those three parties. So you got culture invasion, which is like a Caribbean thing, Caribbean fest, you know, reggae, da da da. <laughs> you got Mount Madness, aka Homecoming. you 
have Spring Fest. Spring Fest is basically they bring an artist and the artist performs and it's like a concert. That's just what it is. And yeah, I mean, some clubs can throw parties here and there, but like, other than that, like, it's not a party school. Like, that's not a thing. Like, the club got to throw a party and that's just like that. But what I will say is there's a bunch of promoters lately, like, a bunch of, like, you know, different party promoters that's been around. And there's one called, I think, First 48, yeah, and basically, like, they basically, like, throw parties for um, the Westchester, you know, the tri-state area type of, you know, college or whatever for us. And then like it's close up you could go they be in my brain they be in bronx they be like they be they be everywhere but like it's not there's nowhere like it's in close range so like in terms of party wise you you don't even gotta worry about being partying at the school because you're gonna be partying over there like, you know like duh like it's, it's better than partying at your, at your school trust i mean it's not convenient you get, get in the uber with your friends five dollars each get an uber turn up and then go home that's just what it is but party at the school not a thing parties are more more like outside it's part of the school but it's just like not like as much as you would think there's three parties that are gonna happen guarantee but then the rest of them are all like clubs if, if a club out throw a party if the dancing was throw a party that it's like blah, blah, blah. but other than that like it's not a, it's not a thing like it's not a party school but there's parties sometimes but then it just depends who goes if it's late blah, 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 like like that but like i said there's parties outside of campus so you value like, you don't even gotta worry about parties in here in school like chill all right, people, people want to know about relationships and are there cute boys at the school or are there cute girls at the school? Honestly, I can't tell you if they're cute or not because at the end of the day, it's your preference. You might be like, damn, like, he's fine. I'm like, yeah, anyways, he's chopped. Like, it just depends on your preference. But I will say there are people who are attractive. Every grade has their attractive people. Like, people who are attractive is just, 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 just regular. Like, that's it. But what I would say is, you know, if, if you're going to come to school and you're going to date a girl or date a boy, do your research. Don't, don't just jump into the ocean. Okay, and wonder why you drowning. Even do your research. Do your research. Okay. Don't ever date nobody at Mount St. Vincent without doing your research. Because I will tell you, people get around. Okay? People get around. Things been happening. And you never know who is the most messy. So like I said, do your research. If you're gonna cuff a guy, ask around. Somebody gonna tell you. Cause somebody knows something. Cause like I said, Mount St. Vincent boys. They lit. When I mean lit, I mean they are a bunch of treeshes. Treeshes. And not all of them. But a lot of them are treeshes. And they and the one thing I was about them though, they mad low key with it. You would never know it's dumb. So like I said, girls, if you wanna talk to a guy, he don't talk to you, you a freshman, you a transfer student, you fresh me, you fresh bait, you don't know him from nowhere, you don't know him from Adam and Eve. So off rip, he gonna look at you because you wanna look at him like what's good. He gonna be like what's good. He gonna kill, he gonna leave your ass, you gonna be tight, and boom. You should have listened to Brenji. Yeah. Nah, but she's still honestly don't, don't let these boys kill. Don't let these boys kill because they be everywhere. They be everywhere. Okay? I'm just saying, but if you do, you do. That's on you. If you do, you do. That's on you. If you do, you do. That's on you. That's on you. That's a, that's a, that's on you. But anyways, yeah, honestly, no, truly. But that also, but also, no, though, like just acting out, like you know, like, bro, my school is not that big. It's, it's a small school. It ain't that big, so like, act around. Yeah, I'm somebody or somebody. I know what, what's going on. So that's it. Like, and you know, like if it's good, it's good. I'm like I said. A lot of these boys want to kill, and they will kill. Like, I mean, I'm telling you, these boys are smooth. I've seen it myself. But, but also, I, I'm not going to hold you. These girls, you got to watch them too, because a bunch of them just be leapfrogging. Leapfrogging on mad niggas. Just, just like I said, it just depends on who you're talking to, for what, da da da, da. If y'all both want to just get it, get, get it on and popping, and y'all know that, that's it. But nine out of ten, the girl fall in love. He don't give a damn. He kill. Your V card is now lost. You tight. He don't give a fuck. He moved on. You bitter. You hate him. He don't care. He do this to the next person. Repeat. And you just mad. Now you hate everybody. Now niggas ain't shit. But you should listen to that but, but besides that, let me scratch that. People have been cuffed. Like, there's people who have cuffed freshman year and they're still cuffed to this day. It just depends on who... And what and what you know, so it just depends on who the person is, what they, what they want, if they actually like you, if they're willing to work for you. That's that's it. But I've seen 
I've seen people be confident and it works out and they still come to today. And I've seen just kills. It just depends on what your preference is. You know what you want to do. So I'm going to just start off with the dorms, okay? I'm going to break the dorms down, what they all have. Da -da -da, and then after that, so yeah. So there's five buildings that you can live in as of right now. Me making this video right I want you guys, because I don't know if you watch this video 10 years later. I don't know. So as of right now, 2020, there's five buildings that you can live in. It's Seton, Spelman, Mastro, Alum, and um, Marillac. Those are the five buildings that you can live in, and I'll break each one down. So Spelman is basically like the freshman building as of right now. It wasn't before, but it is basically as like I went out with Spelman in my freshman year. So Spelman has four floors. Spelman is a freshman building, aka is transfer building, aka you know where you go if you don't got no more space, aka like you know like just aka mad stuff. Walk to Spelman. And if you live on the first floor, the elevator does not go to the first floor. The elevator goes to the second floor, third and fourth. So therefore, if you go, if you live on the first floor, you got to walk up them stairs. Sorry. It is what it is. You get it. So it's a nice little workout. But like, that's just one of the things. You're going to have to walk up them stairs. Like, that's just that. But it literally is just up the stairs. Like, you stuff that's serious, but still. You know, like, I understand it. Wow, I'd be tight too. But yeah, so, um, Spelman is also unisex. That means, like, male and females are both on the same floor. Like yeah so basically like first floor is all girls or or if not all girls all boys but usually it's all girls and basically first floor has just the rooms it's literally just this small it's, this, it's, just, it's not that big it's not as big as other floors it's literally just a little spot like a li literally a little hallway so like um the freshman um first floor has basically like a you know just a regular regular it's just regular hallway like nothing crazy just a little hallway that's just the rooms no lounge no nothing if you want to go use the lounge you gotta go upstairs if you want to use the kitchen you have to go upstairs and that's just that. If you go upstairs, second, third, and fourth floor are has it's separated into three parts. So literally, there's like a door that separates each each section. So we got this section, middle section, side section. So these these two doors, my hands are the doors, and they separate the next segment, the next section, basically on each floor. So it's like blah, blah, blah. so it's like let's say you go to the second floor. My freshman year, second floor, it was boys was in the middle. So this is all boys. And then the sides were girls. So you have to open the door and go to the sides. But you go in the elevator and you're on the floor. And let's say you want to go to the girl side, you're going to walk to your left or walk all the way down to your right to the door, open the door and go. But you're still on the same floor. Now that's the third floor. Third floor in the middle was all girls. And then on the left side of the thing was all boys. And then on the right was all girls. And then the fourth floor, it was all boys and the sides were girls. So it's just like, it just depends on floor. Sometimes they change it, sometimes, sometimes they don't. I don't know, but like, that's just what it was. Um, each floor has a lounge and a kitchen, except for the first floor. Um, it's like a, it's a communal bathroom. So you, you have to, it's a community bathroom. So everybody shares the same bathroom. It's about like, what? I want to say like four, four stalls, like five, five, um, bathroom, like to, to the toilet seats, bathroom, like five of those, four, like three, like three or four, like regular stalls and then one big one. Each floor has like a big store where like, you know, like the whole handicap thing. So like, yeah, but yeah, like this regular, like, you know, you got all that, like, so yeah, that's just what it is. The laundry's on the first, the laundry's downstairs, all the way downstairs. And yeah, so like that's just what it is. Now moving on. Now we're gonna go to Mastro and Alum. Mastro and Alum is across the street from Spelman. And Spelman and uh, Mastro and Alum, they're two different buildings, but in the same building. Which basically means like the buildings share the same door to come in the entrance. So you open the door to get into the building. What's gonna distinguish the fact that you're an alum or you're in Mastro is if you make a left or a right. If you make a left, you're in Mastro. If you make a right, you're an alum. That's just the, that's just the difference. But everybody has to come out the same way and go in the same way. So me and my friend, well, let's say we both live in different places. I live in Mastro, she lives in alum. We're gonna walk through. I'll make a left, she'll make a right, boom. And then when we get down there, that's from the different buildings. But when we get in there, we're in the same spot. So now let me explain Mastro. So Mastro, you walk in a building, whatever, you make a left, boom, that's Mastro. Mastro has five floors. Mastro is unisex, but not really like it's more so like boys live on that side too. But there's the third floor is all boys, so first, second, fourth, fifth are all girls, and then the third floor is all boys. Each each floor has a nice kitchen, nice kitchen, nice, nice little lounge area. But like a, the kitchen is not nice. Like the kitchen gives you OD house vibes. Like like the kitchen is big, nice. It's a nice, very cute little room. Like it's cute and the bathrooms is regular like mm, like it ain't nothing special like it's just it's not the best bathroom in the world like it's not like ancient like that it's just the fact that it's just like 
it ain't live it's just regular like it's just regular like nothing crazy it's just regular and then that's basically the, the that's basically the um mastro get a mastro let's say you want to get a mastro you got a mastro boom if you want to go to a lump off mastro you're going to just keep going straight but if you come in into the building you're going to make a right boom make it right whatever boom now you in a lump Alum has alum is where the, the laundry room is. The laundry room in that building for, for Mastro and Alum is in Alum. So it's like on the ground level of Alum. So like let's say you take the elevator. Before you take the elevator, you would just go around and then you would see the like the laundry mat. So the laundry room is where everyone in that building will share that, which is dumb. It should really make two sides. Of it. So like I, I like if I, if I were to live in Mastro, I gotta go all the way down there to go wash my clothes. That's just mad Ed, but whatever. So that's your stat. So when you press the button to get to the elevator, you're gonna go to the second, third, and fourth. Because it's first floor is like the first floor is like the rooms are basically like where the janitor custodial stuff is at, where the laundry rooms at, like that's where the like the first floor of alum is. So second, third, and fourth are where the people sleep at. So second, third, and fourth, um basically the, the same way. So you let's say go to the second floor. Boom, when the second floor, whatever, get the elevator. If you bust that left, and that this hallway right here is all girls. And if you're in the elevator, you bust a right on the same floor, like this way, is all boys. So each each floor is like a slant. So like it's diagonal. So you got elevator, boy, you got elevator, girls, elevator, boys. So it's like a you wanna go to the if you're in a girl, you wanna go to the girl, you gotta go boop. If you're in a boy, you gotta go boop, boop, like that. Like just through two, three, four. And um Alum has a big lounge, a big lounge, but, but, their kitchen though, it ain't it. Like, I'm not gonna hold you, they gotta, like, literally, I, like, this their kitchen. Toop, toop, like, this, this, this much. This natural kitchen, this alum kitchen. This is their kitchen, but then the lounge is mad big. Taking up mad space and no kitchen, like, it, it doesn't make sense. But their bathroom though, that bathroom, you got space to do whatever. Like that bathroom, I thought they was trying. That bathroom is dumb nice, dumb big. That bathroom, that bathroom really give me hotel vibes, like OD. Because like it just it's just very like just spacey. Like, you know, it just look it look new, it look cute, like it's just marble, like it's just it's just nice. Like it's honestly nice and very spacious. Like, no. So Alum got the bathroom, but in terms of lounge, lounge type, Mastro got it. So it's just a preference, whatever, but that's just that. CN is another building that you live in, but it's also the administration building. So basically that means like downstairs is where administrations be at or your stuff is be at. So they live upstairs. There's six floors in, in CN. Um, the bathrooms, the bathrooms okay. Very ancient vibes, very like um, castle-y vibes, you know, very old school um not modern at all but the rooms basically the rooms are basically like you use a door like a knob door where you can get in, into a closet and then also they give you a dresser How, like seeing is like a very like confidential like cards to get in the elevator cards to get out the elevator cards to get in the stairs like cards to wash your hands like, like it's extra because it's an administration building so you know it's an admissions building so you know like niggas is not playing like Nigga, you need a car everywhere. So, you know, like, I understand. No lounge type. Like, they're not into that lounge kitchen shit. There's a kitchen and a lounge downstairs. First floor. But, like, in terms of, in terms of every floor, and that's not, that's not really a thing. Um, then you go down the hill. And that's Marillac. And Marillac is very, like, very just... Very, 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 like, low-key. Very just, you know, where people go, like, you know, just through. Like, it's down there the water. I don't think it's that got bad reception, but you know the rooms is the rooms is cool. You, you can get a cute room, you can get a not cute. Room. It depends, but you know there's, there's there's trios, there's I mean there's there's triplets there, there's like quads, there's there's different stuff. But it just depends on where you go. But that's just that. Not not you, there, there are there are singles in the buildings, but like but it's sporadic. Not like all oh, like this building has all singles. There's singles in Seton, there's singles in Rylak, there's singles in Spelman, there's singles in Matro, there's singles in, in Alum. It's just, you might not get it. Like, that's just what it is. You gotta pay extra anyway, so who gonna pay another extra thousand dollars off the already mad loan niggas already taken? Bugging, I'll keep the double trust. Also, like, you might hear a concept of, like, dry and wet buildings. That basically means, like, dry buildings means, like, you can't have no liquor in this building because there's underage students. So, like, for example, Spelman is majority freshmen. Freshmen are not 21, so therefore it's, it's predominantly a dry building. But in every other building on the campus, 
is is a wet building but it's wet to the people who are who are 21. I, it wouldn't be wet to me because i'm not 21. but yeah like honestly i hope this helps you i hope you guys you know like honestly at this point like yeah you just have to come to school for yourself and see for yourself like i said my experience was great i had a refreshing year i had good bond with people like i love the school like i would never like I, i'm not mad with the school if i had to choose to a school again i would do it again like i like the school like, i don't have an issue so it's just like you might hate the school i love the school so like i said don't go off me and think the school is great and you come in here with high expectations and you're, you're disappointed I'm just saying that the school is, is valid to me. But, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys find the video informative. If you have any questions, put it down below and I'll answer everybody's questions. I have no problem answering any questions. But other than that, at this point, like, there's not much else I can say after school. Just come here and find out for yourself. But yeah, make sure you guys like, come subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Okay, share, share, share. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'll answer them. DM me. Whatever you want to do, I'll answer your questions. Very thoroughly and very nice and with the heart and with the truth. I'm going to lie to y'all, okay? Alright guys. Let me put you on. Let me get right beside you. Put my finger through your thumb.